Thousands of people who have been saved have ended up at Houston's Convention Center, which is now a shelter. CBS 4's Kristen Holmes is there, live with an update on the conditions there. Kristen. Good evening, Rick and Rudabay. Well, we are here at the Houston Convention Center, one of the biggest shelters. They say there's about 8,000 people here right now. And I'm going to show you what's going on behind me because it's really, really quite amazing. This is just one of several donation stations that's been set up throughout the convention center. You see volunteers here sorting through all of these donations, these supplies, so many children's clothes and blankets and towels. And what's really great is that you don't have to be an evacuee to come in and get supplies. We've seen people who are staying with friends, people who just have necessities, things that they need, coming in, picking them up, and being able to leave. Now, this area has become kind of a transient location because, as you've probably seen, the damage has shifted to a different part of Texas. Here, it's dry, so we have people leaving, finally able to go back home, while new school buses are bringing people in from other parts of the state. And I do want to share one story with you that was incredibly moving today. We saw a family with three young children get off those school buses. The children looked scared. They were carrying just three big bags of their belongings, and they were stopped by two police officers who gave them stickers. They made the children feel at home. They asked them questions, and within just a few minutes, they were chasing each other around and giggling. Uh, and it's just really, it, it encapsulates what's going on here. People working together, evacuees, volunteers, law enforcement, trying to make this incredibly difficult time a little bit more easy, a little bit more almost positive an experience. Rick and Ruta Bay. All right, Kristen, we've been so touched by those positive stories. Thanks for sharing another one with us.